previously on The Good Fight. Keep coming with me now. You're all mine. <laughs> Come inside then, bring your men. I work alone. Is that so? That's so, Mr. Rashid. That is a magnificent watch. You could have died on that table. We kept you alive. Did everything in my power. Look, Electro Man's dead. Apparently something went down at the old Bedlam factory old run over. Daniel Trudeau is in Salt Lake, and you're not coming back until you find him. Is that clear? Yeah, she can't see me. Someone needs your help, okay? So you can do date night another night. Hey, Josie. Oh, hey. What the hell happened to you? I mean, one minute you're standing there, then all of a sudden, poof? Oh, do I really poof? Man, I thought it was more of like a... Bzzz. You definitely poof. Ah, uh, yeah, that's disappointing. You're dodging. I'm not, I told you I can't control it. So where'd you go? <laughs> the gym? The gym. Hi, Jim. Ryan, I don't... I don't think she hands up the door. Josie, hey. How did you know where I live? We need to talk. I know, we do. I don't know what happened tonight. I was just really, really nervous. I mean, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but I've had a crush on you since we were teenagers. Okay, I guess you didn't know. Whatever, though, I mean, it doesn't matter. Ryan? I acted like an idiot tonight. Ryan! Yeah? How is Kelly standing in your living room right now? You can see me? Oh my god. She can see me? Yes, she can see you. How? I have no idea. Oh my god, I'm... Real. Yeah. And really hungry. <sighs> This is disgusting. How old is this? Can someone explain this? And that? Oh, come on! Come on! Yeah, he does that sometimes. Does what exactly? Look, I am just as confused as you are. <laughs> I kind of doubt that. Do you think this is easy for me? I mean, until about 30 seconds ago, I thought I was crazy, like... Halfway to the nut house crazy. None of this makes any goddamn sense. I mean, he was dead. I watched him die. I heard the paramedics say he was dead. People don't come back from that. I did. 
What? And I'm guessing you did too. I want to make a pact. Right now, me and you. Okay. I want to be able to tell you anything. I've lived my whole life keeping secrets from people, and I don't want to do that with you. Not anymore. And I want you to do the same. Let's just be honest with each other, no matter how weird or horrible something is. We should feel comfortable saying it to each other. Fine. Deal? Yeah, sure, deal, whatever. What's this about? I want to tell you something I've never told anyone before. I'm a maze girl. What's a maze girl? What? Like, you're good at mazes? No, not... Not a maze girl. A maze girl. Oh! I don't get it. It's because I just moved here. They know me in Albuquerque. I'm a vigilante. With abilities like you. What, what are you doing? I'm Googling you. Don't Google me. Why not? Because it's creepy. Bless you. Me. Bless you. Bless me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sure. Wait, are you like, are you future me? No. <laughs> no, I'm just a guardian. Like you. Like me. What are we guarding? Well, nothing in particular. And guarding might not be the right term. We're more like protectors. You can protect who or what you want. I'm here and now to protect you. Why? What, what do I need protection from? Right now? Yourself. So, what is your ability exactly? I have a overactive adrenal gland. So you're angry all the time? <laughs> no. It's a side effect, sure. But I also have increased athletic abilities. Super strength, for example. You mean you're strong for a girl? No. I mean I'm strong for a human. There's no way you're stronger than me. We all have a part to play in this. I'm just not sure you know what yours is. What, what are you talking about? I need to show you what you need to see to make you who you're meant to be. Oh, we're rhyming now. Great, that's great. You have to figure out what your place is. My place? My place is not on this beach with you. I'm sorry, you seem like a really nice guy, incredibly handsome, but I'm not supposed to be here, okay? My friends are probably worried sick about me. Best out of 13? <laughs> this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Why here, huh? Why, I mean, why am I here? You're here because you're supposed to warn me about something, right? But why here? Why the hottest beach on the planet? You couldn't give me these cryptic messages in an air-conditioned room at the Ramada? I'm not here to warn you. I'm here to show you. But we need to get to that brush. You're visible now. We can't risk you being exposed. Not here. So, how did you come up with a maze girl? How did you come up with Electro Man? I didn't. They just started calling me that. Same. Definitely not what I would have chosen, but it stuck. It doesn't have to. Not anymore. You're in a new city. No one knows your identity. You can be anybody you want. Well, who am I supposed to be? What about... Girl Armstrong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. How about... Adrena? Adrena? Adrena. I kind of like that. 
Can't make too much noise, okay? Not now. You keep saying that, here and now. I mean, where the hell are we? You're asking the wrong question. More important is when you are. Why are you showing me this? Everyone has a path that they're meant to be on. A role they have to play, even Simon. You've been given a second chance. You need to understand that with this ability you've been given comes great responsibility. Yeah, I know, I know the drill. Good, because you'll be tested. You think this is happening to us because we died? It's the only thing we have in common. When you were electrocuted, it must have stopped your heart. You woke up with the ability to channel electricity. And when you defibrillated Kelly, he must have been pulled between two planes of existence. And that's why he's able to move through space. Exactly. And you? How did you die? It doesn't matter. What matters is I did, and now I have an ability as well. So, when we die, we're reborn heroes? I guess so. I mean, that's how you want to look at it. Then why us? What makes us so special? I don't know. This is as far as he made it before he lost consciousness. No one knew he was here. Even if they did, no one would care. Sahar and his men would be back soon to dispose of the body, likely throwing it into the ocean. Good. He deserves to die. But that isn't what happened. Someone came to his aid. Someone unlikely. Who? You. No. No, I won't do it. He destroyed Ryan's life. He murdered a good doctor right in front of me, stabbed me in the stomach. He killed me. That was his place. This is yours. And what if I don't, huh? What then? He never tricks Ryan. I never put on the suit. I don't die. We go on helping people. Ryan now accepts his place in the world as a direct result of what happened. You need to do the same. Or else what? What? Or else we were wrong. And you were never meant to be the Guardian. I need help, a doctor, somebody help me, please. Please. Are, are you all right? Oh, I'm sorry. What do we got? I, I don't know. How'd you guys even get in here? What happened? Good morning, Daniel. 